up everyone? I'm your female otaku and I'm here to do another one of these videos that I do seasonally which is to show you what anime I will be reviewing and live reacting to next season. So this time we're gonna be going over spring 2017. I like to use live chart. I have it organized by my time zone, by air date, leftovers are also on here and uh, just in case that there's not enough information we always have any chart but I prefer live chart because live chart usually has more information than any chart but sometimes it goes the other way around you never know a couple of rules for those of you who don't know how I do things when it comes to these videos and that is uh, no mech no military no idol no yaoi no yuri because I'm just not into those genres yes I know I reviewed yojo senki but that was just a stroke of luck that was very rare plus those reviews were pretty bad because I didn't really understand what was going on when it came to the military tactics. I never want to do that again. That was a rare occurrence, okay? Don't expect that to happen again. Next, if I skip over an anime that, that you really want me to review, just request it. But uh, if it's a sequel, I will not get to it because I'm currently catching up on Gintama. And lastly, should I live react to Attack on Titan? I don't really know. I don't really know, but uh, I'm I'm still I'm still thinking about like what I'm gonna live react to next season, and so I, I'm thinking Attack on Titan might be good to live react to, but uh, I don't I don't really know. Maybe depending on what day it comes out, if there's not that many anime that come out on the day that Attack on Titan's coming out, then maybe I can do both reviews and live reactions. I haven't done something like that since One Punch Man, but that's you know open out there be listen and yeah so I haven't checked out the spring list yet however I do know quite a bit of sequels that are coming out next season but I don't really know any original projects or, or any like other projects that aren't a sequel I don't really know any others I don't know maybe I do I'm just not thinking of any at the moment but yeah my first time looking at the list we're on live chart here so uh, let's get to it Boku no Hero Academia second season I'm caught up with the manga. I reviewed all of season one. You already know, man. Yes, this is gonna be so much hype. It's not gonna get to the point where I want it to, but you know, it's gonna adapt a, a really fun arc and then something more. So yeah, it's gonna be good. Look out for this. And if you haven't seen season one, I highly recommend it. It is an average start, but it does have some charm to it. But season two will make up for everything. No worries there. Again, Attack on Titan, please let me know if I should live react to it or review it. I have not read the manga. Yes, I held out this long. <laughs> so uh, if, if you want me to live react to it, you will be getting like my general like raw like first hand like reaction because I, I have no idea what's happening in the next season. Duel Masters. Okay, uh, one thing you should know, guys, um, at the time I'm recording this video, it's uh, pretty early, I'm not gonna lie. It's uh, the end of, of February, in fact. Uh, it's, it's February, like, 25th right now. But the reason why I'm making this video so early is because, like, you know, the anime is coming out pretty soon. And it's, I, I thought it was confirmed for March 25th. I'm pretty sure this date is wrong. I could have sworn this was confirmed for March 25th. But yeah, spring season's starting earlier than usual, so uh, that's why I decided to make this video earlier than usual, because normally I wait for, like, the first week and, like, like March or something to upload this. But anyway, the reason why I'm saying that is because we have little information here and we're probably gonna find that with a couple of these. But you know, it says kids, so it's it's not for me anyway. So I guess we'll just move on with that. Gin no Guardian, action comedy fantasy game supernatural. Never heard of this studio. And let's see here, based off of a digital manhwa, okay. Uh, Sui Gin may be poor, but he is one of the best online video game players. Oh, God. Oh, this sounds like every anime ever made so far. Oh, dear. This identity, however, is unknown to all except for Rikule, Sui Gin's classmate. She delivers a mysterious mobile device to Su Gin, but before being able to explain herself, Riku Lee is kidnapped and Sui Gin unwilling, unwittingly finds himself wrapped up in a series of problematic circumstances. Searching for a way to save her, he accidentally activates the device, allowing him to dive into a virtual <laughs> Nope! No, no, no. Oh, uh, no, no, no. We need a break from this. Nope. 
All right, Sugi Momo. Uh, action, comedy, ecchi, school, sane and supernatural by Zero G, based off of a manga. Kazuya Kagami's most treasured possession in the world is the obi left to him by his late mother. The scent of cherry blossoms infused into it helps him through the, his day, but he never expected it to save his life. Becoming a beautiful kimono-clad girl... Uh... Wait. He became a girl? Where's the gender bed tag? Hold up, what? But I never expected it to save his life, becoming... Oh, oh no, it! Okay, he's talking about the obi itself. Okay, never mind, never mind. A <laughs> uh, girl who calls herself an artifact spirit. Her name is Kiriha Sugimoto. That means essentially. Okay. All right. I, I I see where this anime is going. Nothing special here, to be honest. Beyblade. No. What in the actual fuck is this? Um, comedy drama seinen. This sounds like it's gonna be a short. Uh, what salesman new? This might be a short. Hold up. Let's check over here. Doing the doing the short section here. Here we go. Oh, nope, it's not here in the short section. Okay, each episode follows Fukizo Muguro, a traveling salesman, and his current customer. Muguro de uh, deals in things that give his customers their heart's desire, and once he his deals are made and their unhealthy desires are satisfied, Muguro's customers are often left with terrible repercussions, especially if they break the rules of his deals. Okay, yeah, this is definitely going to be a short. It uh, just hasn't been officially announced yet. No, 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 I'd lose. Oh, what do you know? More I'd lose. What's this? More I'd lose? Skipping that too. Boruto. <laughs> no. Love Kome. We love rice. Oh, I heard about this. Yeah. <laughs> the heartwarming Kome uh, D. K Kome D? Oh my god. Oh, they did not make that terrible pun to the title. Ugh. With laughs and passion, promises to let audiences rediscover the virtues of rice. Yeah, it's just a bunch of rice. That that That's all it is. Doesn't really sound too interesting. I don't know. I mean, if I hear some hype after the first episode, then maybe I'll check it out. But it seems like it's nothing going to be but a school comedy. And it's not. there's not going to be much to talk about. So, Sakurada Reset. Mystery School Supernatural Superpower. Oh, David Protection! Oh! Oh, okay! Light novel! That doesn't matter to me. Okay, I know a lot of people have, like, skeptics, get skeptical when they hear it's a light novel adaptation. Me, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't understand what's so bad about adapting from a light novel. Nearly half the population of Sakurada, a small town near the Pacific Ocean, has some sort of unique power. These powers range from being able to enter the mind of a cat to resetting the world back to certain point in time and past. Come on, guys. 2016 was the year of the time resets. I don't want to bring it back in 2017. I kind of had enough of that. Uh, there is a group known as the Kanryoku that controls and monitors the use of these powers. Asai K and Haruki Misora work for their school's club called Haoshi. Uh, Haoshi Club, which execute any missions received from the... God, these words I can't even... All right. Uh, Misora has the ability to reset the world three days. Three days? Damn. This means that all events and any memory of the past three days that could have happened never happened. K has the ability to remember the past. Oh, even after Misora uses her powers to reset the world back three days. Okay. K will retain those three days in his memory, combining their powers, these two solved missions issued by the uh, Kanri Yoku. Okay. I'll check it out. Seems like it's going to be pretty episodic. So I might get bored with it after a while, unless if there's an overarching story. That would be awesome. But I haven't really seen anime do, do that in a really long time. An anime that's, you know, episodic but still has an overarching story. Like, that hasn't happened since Death Parade, man. It's been a while. Boso Shoujo Makaivelism. Okay. Action Comedy Romance School Shonen. Silverlink, based off a of manga. The private Aichi symbol, Symbolis Academy <laughs> was originally a high school for high class girls. When it became co wed, the girls, out of fear, asked to be permitted to bring weapons to school. <laughs> when that was enforced upon. <laughs> 
member vigilante corps like organization called the Supreme Five Swords were also formed. After many generations, the Five Swords eventually became a group which corrected pro problematic students and the academy started uh, proactively accepting such students in order to correct them. Okay, Nomura Fudo was sent to the school after being part of a huge brawl. What he, will he do when the only options he has after enrolling are being expelled from that school or being corrected the way the rest of the male students there were? By being enforced to dress and act like a girl! Okay, I'll do a first impressions on this. I'll definitely do a first impressions. This sounds like it could be pretty funny, but it could go downhill afterwards. Okay, what is all this talk about Sakura Quest? It's an anime original. We don't know what it's about. Everyone's been talking about this for months ever since it was announced in, like, the fall of last year. It's crazy. Comedy Slice of Life by PA Works. The story centers on five girls who work in a tourism bureau of their small provincial town. The town receives, uh, no, revives its Micronation Tourism Program, which originated from a nationwide movement during Japan's bubble uh, ec economy period and hires the five girls as monarchs, tourism ambassadors. The anime will depict one year in their jobs in the tourism industry and show how they change and grow. This isn't worth reviewing at all! What the quack, man? Why, why is everyone so crazy about this? Is it just because of PA works? Is that just, is that it? Oh my god. People need to calm down. Clockwork Planet. Drama, fantasy, romance, sci-fi, shonen. Based off a novel. Everyone on the Clockwork Planet considers Na Naoto Mirura and a machinery nut. Every moment of, of every day, he has his mind on gears and his hands tinkering with delicate mechanical motors. But nobody understand how he can, I think the man understands, how he can hear and feel gears in operation, even from a long distance away. Then one day, a, clock, a clockwork maiden falls from the sky, presaging events that would shake the whole world. Eh? Oh, nothing, nothing cool there. No. Kabuki Boo. School by Studio Dean. Studio Dean has been making their comeback, so I will most likely check this out. K Kurogo is a young boy who loves kabuki, a traditional Japanese performing arts. I've always been interested in kabuki because I've heard of it so much, but I don't really know what it's about. When he enters high school, he finds out that there's no kabuki performing club. Kurogo and his best friend to uh, Tom Tombo <laughs> uh, decide to form a kabuki club. Kabuki Boo by themselves. Yes! Yes! Will they be able to find others who want to join and perform in front of an audience? Yes! Let's go! Okay, yes! Guys, listen, I have been on quite the streak recently and watching anime that has something to do with like traditional Japanese, like, um, I don't know, arts, I guess you can say? Because, like, you know, we have March comes in like a line with Shogi. I recently finished Chihaya Furu, which is uh, based off of uh, ancient Japanese, like, sport. And we have Showa Genroku Rakugo Shinju. So I'm just really in interested in more anime like those. And what do you know? <laughs> My uh, wish has been granted. I'm getting one next season. So yes, I will definitely be checking this out. Seikai Sudo Kado, Sci-Fi by Toei. Kojiro Shinjo, Cabinet Office Director General for Policy Planning, is, the, is at Haneda Airport for a business trip. While the plane is on the runway, a giant structure suddenly appears out of thin air. The plane carrying Shindo uh, and, one, and 251 passengers is taken undamaged inside the giant structure. After everyone disembarks, the, a man who looks like an ordinary human being shows up. He assures those rom those rom the plane those roam the plane I don't know that they uh, that they are not in any danger. Shindo asks him to identify himself and explain the situation. Then the outside of the structure display it on a large screen, and at the same time, every passenger's cell phone starts ringing at once. They're just explaining the entire first episode to us, just giving a for a play by play. This is the script. That's what this is. <laughs> On each cell phone screen is a message from this man to every one of Japan's citizens. I, Yuhakui, za shinuna, uh, shinuina, uh, hereby notify you that I am going to intervene in Japan's internal affairs. 
What is this young man's goal, and will Shindo manage to become an, an intermediate intermediary between Japan and the Annie Soterons? I'll check it out. Doesn't seem too interesting, to be honest, but I'll, I'll, I'll give it a first impressions at least. Wow, a third season? Wow, this must be doing great. Uh, but I haven't seen the other two. Mecha Sci-Fi, no. Ucho Ten, Kazoku 2, oh, 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 I've heard of this, actually. I heard that this was, like, a hidden gem back in, like, 2013 or something. But, uh, yeah, I haven't seen the first season, so I won't be watching the second. What the heck is this? Kenka Bancho Otome, Girls Beat Boys? This sounds like an idol anime. Uh, twin brother. Oh, okay. According to Hikaru, Hikaru and Hinako are the children of the head of the powerful Onigashima Yakuza family, and Hikaru wants Hi Hinako. Oh my God, these names! To switch places with him at Shinshuku Academy, an all boys school overrun with the nation's toughest delinquents. Can Hinako save her brother? Find uh, save her brother. Find romance and become the new boss of the school? Okay, if this turns out to be something ridiculous, then this could be my replacement for Hot Sukhoi Monster because I need a replacement for Hot Sukhoi Monster. Roommate? Oh, I heard about this the other day. This is supposed to be like the opposite of uh, One Room, which is currently airing. Sanai heroin no sado da te kata. Comedy Edgy Harem Romance School by A1 Pictures. Oh, God, that sounds like a shitstorm waiting to happen. Oh, wait, second season? Oh, okay, I couldn't even watch it if I, even if I wanted to. Then never mind. Wait. Wait. Is this how to raise a boring girl a girlfriend? Is that what this one is? Oh, okay, never mind. Well, well again, I haven't seen season one, but but it's not as bad as I thought. 100% uh, yeah kids no kids no kids no fantasy no no nah, I'm kidding I'm kidding grand blue fant oh wait I remember this this got delayed this was supposed to air this season but it didn't do delays I know the first episode or two already came out haven't seen it I'm just not interested in watching another average fantasy by A1 Pictures Alice to Zoroku Fantasy Satan Supernatural by J.C. Staff, based off a manga? Let's go. What do we have here? A group of young girls possess a mysterious power known as Alice's Dream, which gives them the ability to turn their thoughts into reality. Whoa. Determined and experimented upon, these youths are locked away in secret until one of them manages to escape. Her name is Sana a girl with the power to ignore the very laws of physics. When this willful powerhouse crosses paths with a stubborn old man named Zoroku, his carefully ordered uh, life will never be the same again. Oh, okay, it started off being good, but it's starting to end off being kind of average there with meeting a guy and his world is turned upside down, you know, stuff like that. But this is a stubborn old man, so that could be interesting, actually. It's a young girl and an older man. No, 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 no. It's not, not perverted way. Not, not, not in a perverted way. I, I meant it's a different dynamic and, you know, I'm going to shut up. Moving on. Uh, Adam the Beginning. Action Mecca. Nope. Okay. What's this? Berserk. No. <laughs> I already know that's the second core to the other Berserk, so nope. Oh, wait, what? 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 Wait. What? Is this? Yeah, this is... This is Danmachi. Isn't this supposed to be an OVA? That's what I heard. It was just supposed to be an OVA. Is this... Unless if this is a spin-off, Focusing on eyes. I don't think this is an actual series. It's supposed to be an OVA. Huh. Eromanga Sensei. Oh my god. Well, I already know what this is about. <laughs> the new sibling romantic... Co yeah, we're moving on. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Frame Arms Girl Mecca. Nope. Fuku Menki Noise. Music Romance School Shoujo. Nino. A girl who loves singing made a childhood promise with her first crush Momo and song composing Yuzu to someday find her voice. The three went their separate ways, but Nino kept her promise to continue singing. Years later, the three are now high school students, and Nino is drawn into the world of band clubs. Uh, 
episode might be very slice of lifey, therefore I may not be able to review it because there's not that much to say about it. But I'll check it out, see what it is. Maybe I'll end up watching it on the side. I don't really know. Future card buddy fight. Oh nope. Hinako notes, comedy slice of life. Oh, we already know what this is about by looking at this. Hinako is a shy little girl whom animals are instinctively drawn to. Because of this, Hinako works as a scarecrow to keep said animals away from the crops in her neighbor. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, no. Oh, not to miss Book of Friends, season six. Yeah, that's actually coming back. Whew. It's a long running slice of life anime. Wow. Okay. But I haven't seen the other season, so I won't be watching that. I, I mean, I watched the first two episodes of season one, which was nice and chillaxing. But like I said, I gotta catch up to Gintama. Oshitsu Kyoshi Hane? Hane. Comedy. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, accepting the post of royal tutor at the court of the king of... Jesus Christ, these names. Oh, God, it's a long name. It's a little professor with a big job ahead. Each of the kingdom's four princes has a rather distinct personality. Does their diminutive new instructor have what it takes to lay down some learning? It's a comedy of educational proportions. That sounds so dumb. And four children on Disney Channel moving on. What's this? A uh, mech. Moving on. What's this? Uh, comedy, etchy, harem, romance, school, sin, and supernatural. Hmm. Okay, but will it be a unique comedy, etchy, harem, romance, school, sin, and romance, supernatural? <sighs> I added romance there by mistake, my bad. Anyway, uh, a kiss note is a powerful notebook that makes everyone who has their name written together will instantly fall in love if they kiss each other regardless of any circumstances. Oh, God. This is a forced fan service anime. I see. Very, very forced. And the opposite of Death, of death Note with that notebook thing. But, uh, uh... I don't know, guys. This looks like it's gonna be very forced. Uh, unless if I hear some hype about it, I'm gonna skip it. Roku Denashi Mujutsu Koshi to... Akashic Records. Action Fantasy Magic School by Linden Films, based off a light novel. Sistine attends a magic academy, of course, to hone her skills in the magical arts, hoping to solve the mystery of the enigmatic. Uh, I can't even. In I can never pronounce that word. Never mind. Sky Castle. After the retirement of her favorite teacher, the replacement, Glenn, turns out to be a tardy, lazy, and seemingly incompetent bastard of an instructor. How is it that Glenn was handpicked by the best magician, magician in the academy? Another one that seems pretty meh. Okay. Yes! Finally, we move on from the meh-sounding anime and move on to something that could be great. Again, I'm saying could because we actually have a new main character. And if you saw the trailer, she's a bit cringy, not gonna lie. So could she potentially ruin the series? Yes, but I'm still gonna watch it anyway because this is the sequel to one of my, keep in mind, low-tier favorite anime of all time. Rage of Bahamut Genesis came out in fall 2014. It is a fun fantasy anime, and it's uh, it's how a fantasy adventure anime should be done. It's very good, a lot of fun, highly recommend. Moving on, what the fuck is this? Shumatsu Nani, Shimatsu, yeah, yeah, we're gonna skip that title. Action fantasy based off a light novel. 500 years have passed since humanity went extinct at the hands of the fearsome beasts. Even up in the sky, where the surviving races dwell on floating islands, these monasteries constantly threaten to bring death and destruction. Only a small group of young girls, the leprechauns, oh, can wield the ancient weapons needed to defeat these creatures. Into the girls' uh, unstable and fleeting lives were the call to curtain death. That's a curtain. Certain death <laughs> could come at any moment. Enters an unlikely character, a young man who lost everything 500 years ago, the last living human awakened from long icy slumber. Another one that sounds very basic, to be honest. I don't know. These are all my opinions, guys. Remember, this is, these are all first impressions. What the fuck? I just, I just scroll down and I see this. What the fuck is this? Anyway, I, I'm skipping ahead myself, but like, yeah, uh, these are just first impressions. So even though I'm, uh, even though I'm sounding harsh, it's my first impressions. Um, I just, 
I, I, I will be giving some of these a chance, but uh, if I don't give any of these a chance, well, remember, that's where you have the power to request stuff at the bottom. All right, Sin Nanatsu no Taizai, Demon's Echi Fantasy, anime original. You, will you be a worshiper of the Devil Lords? These beautiful lords lead humans to the seven deadly sins, pride, envy, wrath, sloth, greed, gluttony, and lust. A revealing fantasy that craves a corruption, and happiness starts now. Yep, already know what this is about. Okay, we're gonna move on from there. Soryo to Majiwaru Shikiyoku no Yoruni. Romance. Jesus Christ, I can't. Do I want to put it edgy? You want to put edgy romance? That would be nice, thank you. The story begins when a woman reunites with her first love at a class reunion. She discovers that Kujo has taken over his family's temple as a priest. The woman thought that priests did not have romantic relationships, uh, relationships, but a passion ignites between the two. She wonders if what she and the priest do is really right. Okay. I want to check this out. I'm not too sure if it's actually going to be a thing, though, since there's no studio. To <laughs> so I'm not too sure if this is actually going to happen. But this does sound interesting. Suki ga kire. Romance School by Feel. Ooh. Okay, I don't know what it is, but when it comes to anime made by Feel, YouTubers get a lot of copyright strikes and can eventually get their channels terminated by them. So I'm most likely not going to review this. However, I do want to read the summary to see if I want to watch this on the side. Kotaro Azumi and Akane Mizuno became third-year students at junior high school and are classmates for the first time. These two, along with fellow classmates Chinatsu Nishio and Takumihira, relate to their peers through mutual understandings and feelings. As their final year at junior high progresses, the group overcome their challenges to mature and become aware of changes in themselves. Okay, coming of age might be pretty good. Twin Angel Break, no magic, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! no. Zero Kara Hajimeru Maho no Sho, action adventure fantasy shonen by White Fox. Oh, my second favorite studio of all time. Year 526 of the liturgical calendar. The world knew that witches existed and that they practiced the notorious art of sorcery. Nevertheless, the world did not know anything about the study of magic. Our story follows a half-man, half-beast mercenary. Humans mockingly call his kind the fallen beasts. He always dreamt of becoming a human, but one day he met a witch who could, would change his life forever. Do you desire a human form? Then be my escort mercenary. The witch introduced herself as Zero and explained that she was searching for a one-of-a-kind magical tomb, to tomb? tomb. Uh, that bandits had stolen from her lair, entitled The Book of Zero. The grimoire uh, supposedly contained valuable magical knowledge that could be used to effortlessly bring the world to its knees. Thus, in order to realize his dream of becoming a human, the mercenary must, ex must accompany Zero on her journey, despite her being one of the witches he so loathed. This is the story of a hotly sorceress and a kind-hearted beast. Coming soon to a theater near you. Okay, so this anime... Again, seems pretty average. We're having a lot of fantasy uh, and uh, romance anime this season, uh, the, uh, the, this upcoming season, and they all seem to have a very average premise. But hey, you know, it's the execution that matters, so even though the premise might seem pretty average, if it's executed well, and maybe they twist some things here and there, then, you know, things can be rather enjoyable. So I will be checking this out, mainly because of White Fox. So, uh, yeah. And this is for kids, and we have no description here. Okay, let me quickly move over to any charts, see if there's anything here that I missed. <laughs> I thought... We still didn't have a release date for this. 
Well, I guess we don't. But if this is really coming out next season. <sighs> all right. All right. Story time. Story time, guys. So long, long ago, there was a young otaku named Sloane who, before reviewing the anime that was airing the spring 2015 uh, uh, season, she decided to obviously watch some anime on her own time. One of them being Kekai Sensen. A month after of watching Kekai Sensen, she decided to review it and was the first, one of the first anime reviews to actually become popular on her channel in the spring of 2015. She loved this anime that was unique, adventurous, but soon saw the flaws when it didn't keep up with all of its characters, still kept on introducing characters without characterizing or developing its original cast. Not only that, but even forgetting the villains that it like, was building up. And in the end, everything became a colossal mess when she had to wait practically, uh, I don't know, five months for the season finale. So will this otaku review the second season of Kekai Sensen? Yes. Moving on. What we have here. Do, 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 do. All right, that's about it. Not too much. And man, watching next season, huh? Well, because it gets. I guess it's gonna be one of those seasons that the sequels take over. You know, like fall 2016. That that one. Yeah, the sequels took over that season. All right, everyone. So let me know your thoughts on the upcoming season. Are you hyped for it? Are you disappointed? Would you like me to live react to Attack on Titan or not? And if you want me to watch a, sp a particular anime that I seemed like I had no interest in, then please request it in the comments below. If I get enough requests, then I will pick it up. I'm your female Otaku. Sayonara.